Okay, let's take a look at this problem here. So obviously we have a circle and we have some lines going through the circle. Those line segments are called chords, just in case you didn't know that. And we're asked to find the angle. And the angle we're looking for is this angle right here, angle one. So it's the measure of that angle right there. That is the question. And uh, we're given some additional information here. We're told that this arc is 40 degrees and the measure of this arc over here is 80 degrees. So this is a very typical high school level uh, geometry type of problem. And uh, typically, you know, you don't study this stuff uh, in like algebra courses or like pre-calculus or whatnot. This is pretty much all contained for the most part in a, like a high school level geometry course. But you need to know this. Matter of fact, I just got done uh, doing a video on the SAT uh, and the ACT math section. So if you're in high school level geometry, you know, it's a good chance you might be thinking about going to college, which means you might be taking one of these exams. Now, in order to solve this uh, problem, we need to know a formula. Now, you might be saying, well, where, where am I going with this? Well, let me just make my point here real quick. So you need to know a formula to uh, solve this particular problem. So if you forget the formula, well, you know, that's going to be an issue if you decide to take the ACT because there's no formula sheet, there's no reference sheet. So you have to kind of remember this stuff. And in mathematics, uh, it's just the way it is. There's a lot of formulas and theorems and, and things that you do have to remember. You can't possibly remember everything. That's why we take notes, and I'm going to get to that in a second. But on the SAT, uh, there is a reference sheet that you can use. But even on that reference sheet, you may not have uh, the formula you need for this particular problem. So the bottom line is, uh, you know, if you feel overwhelmed with all the formulas that you're learning uh, in mathematics or, you know, in school, it, it is what it is. And that's why it's critical to take excellent notes and really work on your retention, which I'm going to get into in a second. But this formula here is not too difficult. Um, and we're going to solve this problem. Uh, pretty, It's a pretty easy problem to solve. But again, if you don't know the formula, you know, if you don't know what to do, then, you know, uh, you're just kind of guessing and we want to avoid that at all costs. But uh, before we get into this problem, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher and over several years I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. You can uh, check out my math help program by following uh, the link in the description uh, of this video. But basically, I have all the main math courses uh, like pre-algebra, Algebra 1, Geometry. So if you take a Geometry, it could definitely help you out. I also have Algebra 2. I'm going to be launching pre-calculus here shortly. But uh, I also have a lot of tests in the area of test preparation. Oh, sorry, a lot of uh, courses in the area of test preparations like uh, the GED. So if you're taking the GED or the SAT, ACT, uh, GRE, GMAT, uh, maybe a teacher certification exam, CLEP exam, Alex, Accuplacer, uh, nursing entrance exam. All those exams I mentioned have um, a lot of mathematics on those uh, uh, on the exams. And if you don't get to the math sections, you don't get to the exams. So if you're preparing for uh, one of these uh, exams, just go to my site and check out my full course catalog. I should have what you need. If I don't, drop me a line and I'll help you out the best I can. Also do a lot with independent learners like homeschoolers. Uh, I have a great homeschool learning system. And then obviously I help those of you that are struggling in your current math course. So if you're having a tough time in geometry, you may want to check out my full geometry course. It will definitely help you out. Now, one of the things I can't do for you that you must do for yourself that is the following. you got to take great math notes. So I've been teaching math for decades and it's apparent to me that those students who put the work in and have excellent math notes almost do very well in uh, all their tests and, and uh, even on other tests like the SAT and ACT. And then the reverse is true. Those students who just don't bother to take notes or are inconsistent in their note taking or like to talk to their best buddies or look at their cell phone during math class, well, you get the picture. You know, you, they end up having a difficult time. And, um, and the thing is this, like this particular problem, we need a formula. If you weren't paying attention uh, and you didn't write that formula down in your notes, how, how would you be able to do these problems in a homework, right? So again, the whole key to learning anything is focus, right? And there's no better activity than note taking to keep you focused. Just trust me on this one. Really work on your notes. Uh, as you improve your notes, everything else will be improved. But as you're improving, I actually offer detailed comprehensive math notes uh, to include pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, and trigonometry. 
You can find the links to those notes in the description of this video. Now, of course, if you know um, how to solve this problem, if you think you know how to do it without guessing, I would certainly encourage you to pause the video and uh, go ahead and do so. But uh, we're gonna get into the solution now. Okay, so here it is. Um, again, it doesn't require a lot of work, but the answer uh, is uh, angle one is equal to 60 degrees, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our uh, uh, formula here. So there's a formula in geometry, and it states that the measure, okay, and there's intercepted chords, inscribed chords. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on here that I really don't want to turn this into a complete uh, chapter lesson because this will run into like, you know, three, four, five hours to teach you everything about circles. I mean, it thoroughly, okay? I could you know, quickly give you the uh, formulas and then, you know, but without practicing the formulas, that's not going to mean much. So here... Uh, when you're trying to find an angle like this, where you have two inscribed uh, chords inside of a circle, what we have to do is effectively take the average of the two arcs uh, involved. So we have an arc right here, okay, and, and uh, this notation, this little m, means the measure. So we're trying to find the measure of angle one. So if we know the measure of this arc, <coughs> excuse me, right here, x, z, Okay, and we do know the measure of it. It's 40 degrees and we know the measure of this arc right here, which is Y W. Okay, so we add these up and just take uh, uh, the average of it. In other words, mul uh, divided by two or multiplied by one half. We're going to be able to get this angle right there. Okay, so that's the formula. So we're just going to go ahead and plug in the information. So this is 40 degrees here. And this is 80 degrees here. So 40 plus 80, that's 120. We take one half of that, it is 60 degrees. And that is the answer. So again, these problems are not uh, difficult, uh, but if you don't know the formula, well then, then you don't know how to do the problem, right? So uh, the only way you're gonna get good at this is to know the formula and to do a lot of practicing because there's other um, formulas involved. Okay, we can be looking for the distances of these particular um, lengths here with these chords. There's other things we could be doing. There could be other situations with tangents uh, and things along those lines. So uh, again, uh, it's not just one formula you need to know, especially with respect to circles uh, in geometry. There's quite a bit of formulas. They're not difficult, but again, once you're dealing with a lot of uh, formulas, they're easy to confuse. And the only way you're gonna get good at this is to really be able to recognize the situation use the right formula, and then obviously do the, the simple calculations to get the right answer. Okay, so just a quick video on uh, circles. Circles is a huge topic, by the way, on a lot of tests. They come up pretty frequently. Let's say if you're taking the SAT or ACT, I wouldn't be surprised um, uh, if you do see um, some questions on circles. So, you know, this is a, generally speaking, in uh, most geometry courses, this is like a complete full chapter everything you learn about circles. So it's quite a bit of material and knowing how to do problems like this is for uh, sure one of the things that you will be facing. So hopefully this little video helped you out on this particular type of problem. But again, watching this video is not enough. You have to practice this material and make sure all this information is in your notes. Okay, so if this video helped you out in some little tiny way or maybe a big way, please consider smashing that like button. And uh, if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. Been on YouTube for 10 plus years. Uh, so I already have tons of videos on my channel organized from basic to advanced. Uh, if you go onto my, um, uh, my YouTube channel, you'll find a geometry playlist. So a lot of my geometry videos, which I've done quite a few on different topics, you can find there. But my best math help will definitely be within my uh, math help program. And if you are needing um, help in high school level geometry or just in geometry in general, you'll want to check out my geometry course. It could definitely help you out. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.